Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, today I'm going to show you guys how I uh, clean my uh, pumice before I use it. Because I had a few questions uh, about it, how I uh, prepare my uh, pumice before I use it. And it's very simple actually, especially in comparison uh, with the uh, LECA. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, first of all, this is, uh, let me start with the beginning. This is the bag the, with the information on it for you. You guys who want to know it, it says premium substrate, 12, uh, 12 and a half kilos. And it's called Velda, the V, it stands for Velda. And I found it, find this in my, uh, just in the garden centers in the pond section. It's used as a, a pond uh, media. So you can see here the flowers, the water lilies, I believe are on here. So, uh, but it's just a, a pumice, a really, uh, beautiful size ones i can find i have these guys and if you can feel the uh, the teeny tiny holes in it let me uh, try to show it to you i hope you can see it really beautiful stone i really am a big fan of uh, the pumice it's also used for skin peeling so i never uh, put my hands directly in it you can hold it like this, but you can feel it on your skin if, it, if you do it too much. So therefore I would uh, suggest always use uh, some uh, gloves or um, maybe these type of things. Oops, that was my uh, tripod. So we can easily scoop it out of the bag. <laughs> so that's uh, the first. So what I'm doing is uh, I have this bag sorry for the extra noise and i'm just going to fill up the container just to demonstrate but i just pull it in as you can see just tip the container whoops like this I think you get the idea, whoops. <laughs> uh, so I just put it in this container and uh, then we are uh, repotting a orchid and then we obviously uh, need a pot. So I will grab a pot and then I will uh, uh, continue this demonstration. So, and I have my pot. So um, yeah, normally of course I have the orchid in here and then we are ready to pot it up and I just, Put it up like this and you see me using the uh, pumice just uh, that I put in the uh, container straight out of the bag. So nothing much happened with this yet. But uh, I will uh, now take you to the sink and then you will see what I do to clean this. So let's take our pot with the imaginary orchid in it and the beautiful roots of course. <laughs> and I'm putting it just here on the sink and I hope the lighting is good. Let me stand over here. I have some prepared RO water. Normally this is just RO water. Normally I have some seaweed in it, but of course it's just for the, for the purpose, just to have a uh, idea. And this is all I do. I just flush the orchid and the pot like this. And you can see not much. I think let me stop. You see, some little grains there uh, there they are but you see the water is fairly clear not even much dust let me zoom in a little bit oops i'm sorry my camera there we are so that's fairly zoomed in let me zoom out again you can see that's all that is coming out of this pot we have some water left but you can see it's beautiful clean pumice so yeah, of course, and these lekkas don't attract a bit of lekka because I reuse my media, but I did grab quite a lot of uh, that new pumice as you saw, and it's just clean. It's, uh, for me, it's ready to use, but of course you can uh, put it in the sink and put some boiling water over it if you, if you prefer, but I do this for two years now like this. I never had any problems. Sometimes you have a bag that was just underneath uh, when they uh, did ship it with all the bags above it sometimes it does break a little bit in in those bags you may have a little bit more dust but it, even the dust is not um 
dangerous for the roots. They don't mind it at all. So this is just what I do. And I have this, this uh, cooking pan here. This is where I put my pumice in that I want to reuse. So I put it in, in, this, in this pan. Whoops, I'm sorry. And if I have something uh, amount, uh, around this amount, uh, amount I just uh, pull boiling water on it, put the lid back on, let it sit there for about an hour, and then I'm going to drain it and it's ready to reuse and that's what you saw i do this with the old leca sometimes i have a little bit of leca but these guys are the newer ones just the new pumice so yeah that's it and yes in comparison with the uh, actual leca straight out of the back oh my god what a work i had i just boiled it i flushed it and i boiled it i soaked it i did everything with it with the pumice this is all you guys easy peasy and i love that so um yeah i'm gonna leave it there because it's uh, wet one more time for the guys who wanted to know premium substrate and you can see a little bit of dust forming on the on the back itself but that's all it's just so little dust is just really can can really use it straight out of the back it's not a problem at all So that's it. Well, I hope this uh, answered your questions. Uh, if not, or if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos, of course. Bye-bye.